Today I'd like to show you another um, vertical Mendocino motor that I've built. It's a uh, suspension system using some magnets, same as my uh, pulse motor that I have on YouTube. I'd like to, first I'll show you how the magnet's set up. There's one ring magnet, an N45 Neo on the outside of the bottle, which by the way is a two liter soda bottle <laughs> that I've cut off to make the case for the motor. So there's one magnet outside the, um, the bottle. There's a half inch flat disc magnet, an N35 on the inside, and another N42 ring on the inside. Large ball bearing, a small ball bearing, and then the ballpoint pen. The reason I'm using the uh, ball bearings is to help concentrate the magnetic field down towards the tip of the pen. And the idea is to have the magnets balance, almost balance the weight of the armature where the pen is being held on with a minimum amount of force. And by doing that, you get the least amount of friction at the contact point. One thing I'd like to point out that not all these ballpoint pens are uh, magnetic. These are the two field magnets, two of four. And as you can see, this, this pen is not attracted at all to this uh, magnet. So if you want to build one of these motors, uh, make sure that your pen will be attracted to it. The field magnets are two more flat N35 Neo magnets. One's on the inside of the bottle, one on the outside. So there's two here, and there's two more in the back. The way the uh, field from these magnets is arranged is on this side, the north seeking pole of the magnet is towards the center of the bottle, and on the back side, the south side is towards the center of the bottle. And what that does, it gives a constant magnetic field through the coils, which helps it run at very low light uh, intensity. Right now, it's in front of a north-facing window, and I've purposely got this backdrop behind it to cut down the light so it'll run slow enough so you can see uh, something I want to show you in a second. Because uh, And also, if the cushion was out of the way, the motor would be in a silhouette and you can't see any of the details of the uh, motor, which, by the way, has four uh, solar cells and two coils of 100 turns each wound with number 36 magnet wire. The reason I did this vertical suspension is I wanted to try some experiments with the magnets. And I'll show you one of the first things that was very interesting. If I just rotate the cup, the magnet, and the uh, bottle around, now you can see the other set of magnets. Watch what happens to the rotation of the motor. And basically all I've done is just change the uh, direction of the field through the coils. You can see the motor stopping. And if there's enough light, uh, the sun just went behind some clouds. There it goes. It's starting to rotate in the other direction. And this is strictly due to the fact that the uh, only the field is uh, changed uh, going through the coils by rotating the bottle around. If you're interested in building one of these motors, I have all the details on my website. You'll see the link at the beginning and end of the video. And... Uh, there's a lot of pictures there, and you'll, you'll be able to build one from the details I have. What I'm going to do is remove the backdrop, and you'll get an idea how fast the motor can run. At night, I draw the curtains on this window, and by the time uh, I get up, there's enough sunlight leaking around the bottom of the uh, curtain that the motor is already running. So you can see it's picking up speed, and truthfully, I haven't even tried it in the sunlight. I'm afraid the solar cells may fly off. <laughs> They're not held on too good.